Okay, I have another red velvet recipe for you today. Today, I'm showing you how to make red velvet cookies. Um, these are like chocolate chip cookies, but they're red velvet flavor, and I'm also gonna show you how to make them with cream cheese frosting. Oh, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Hey everyone, it's Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. We are going back to my love cookies and I'm showing you how to make red velvet cookies, perfect flavor, you're gonna love them. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. I've started with a half of a cup of melted unsalted butter, a half of a cup of packed brown sugar, and a third of a cup of granulated sugar. And then you're just gonna add that to a bowl and you're gonna stir that together. What's great about this recipe is because it uses melted butter, you can just use a spatula to stir it together. Then add in one large egg, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a half of a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half of a teaspoon of salt. Um, and then you're also going to add in two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa. Don't use Dutch process, it hasn't been tested with that. And then just stir it together again until it's a nice, rich, chocolatey looking mixture. And you're going to add in one teaspoon of white vinegar and one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. That vinegar is what gives you that kind of like red velvet tang from normally red velvet cake has buttermilk in it um, but and vinegar, but since these isn't gonna have milk because they're cookies, we added the vinegar, vinegar to give it that tang and also pop that bright red color. So let's just stir that together. Again, I love that you don't need to use a mixer for this. And then we're gonna make it red and I'm gonna use a teaspoon of red food coloring. Now I recommend just using plain old grocery store red food coloring when you're making red velvet desserts. Um, you can use gel food coloring if you want, you'll need to use less of it. Um, but again, I just like the regular cheap uh, food coloring for this. It makes it easier, it's cheaper, and it actually works a little bit better, I find. Um, once that is all mixed together, you have some options. These are mixed with white chocolate chips and regular chocolate chips, but you can also frost them with cream cheese frosting. These are soft and chewy. Once you decide, you're gonna scoop these onto a cookie sheet, then you're gonna chill and bake them and then either frost them with cream cheese frosting, I'll link that recipe, or you're going to add in uh, those chips. If you've added in those chips, you're going to enjoy that chocolatey goodness. Now you can see how soft and gooey these are when they have chocolate in them. They're nice and gooey. Um, you could use all white chocolate chips or all chocolate chips or do whatever you want inside. These would also be great with Oreos. I have a version of that in my cookbook. Um, and I love these with cream cheese frosting too. You can't go wrong with that. Leave me a comment and let me know what you would add as a mix-in and keep watching for even more cookie recipes.